Good. For what? Um, because you're recording all of this, so this is actually considered evidence. So I'm gonna petition for a search warrant for the phone. So you're gonna peti you're gonna petition a search warrant for my phone? And you are recording that. Right, so get a search warrant. Exactly. In order but, for me to get a search warrant, I need your name But and you've got a bad body camera. My phone will do nothing for you. I need your, I need your name and date of birth. No, I'm not giving you my name and birth. If you don't give me your name and date of birth, then you can also be placed under arrest or RDO. Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. Today's video comes to you from the channel Peanut411. If you're not, go subscribe to them and let them know San Joaquin Audits sent you. Today we're going to be looking at the Mooresville Police Department in North Carolina, specifically Officer Diaz. Now he tries to intimidate and trick a person into giving up their information. Filming in public is not a crime and it's protected under the First Amendment. Don't let the police try to tell you otherwise. This is why it's important to always know your rights and always record the police. You're going to see in this video as this person knows their rights and is able to keep the police from trampling on those rights. Let's watch. What? I'm filming, yeah. That's your husband right there? All right. We're live on YouTube. What happened? He got rear-ended. That looks like we got several of them. We're in Mooresville. We are at a one, two, three vehicle accident. We're in Mooresville, North Carolina. Uh, apparently they're searching the vehicle. Dang, I wish I was on the other side of the highway. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Uh-oh, I remember him. Hey guys, as you come in, please hit that thumbs up. And Mooresville, they do have body cams. Iredell County Sheriff's Department does not. Sheriff Campbell says as long as he's sheriff, their sheriff's deputies will not have body cams. All right, guys, we're in Mooresville, North Carolina. This was a four-vehicle accident. Um, they've already searched one vehicle. This gentleman they have out doing a field sobriety test. But we're on 150, and it looks like there may be one injury. You have to change your safe word? Okay. Oh. Up, uh, uh. uh, they took him on the other side of the vehicle, guys. Uh. Oh, he's directing traffic. No, 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 Hello, how are you? Good. For what? Um, because you're recording all of this, so this is actually considered evidence, so I'm going to petition for a search warrant for the phone. So you're going to you're gonna petition a search warrant for my phone? Yes, ma'am. Why? Because I came after... So when you, when you record all this, it's also considered, considered evidence. So I'm, out, I'm out in public. I'm out in public. Yeah. Anytime that somebody records anything with a crime, I can ask for it. This is not a crime. It's an automobile. It's an automobile accident. No, it's not because I'm the one doing the investigation. It's, it's actually a crime. So what's your, what's your name? Again? I'm not giving you my... I, I haven't committed a crime. So this part of the video brings up an important talking point, and that is that in no way are you forced to assist the police in their investigation. Officer Diaz stated that it was a crime scene and not an accident. It could have very well been a crime scene. That still doesn't mean that you have to submit what you recorded over to the police. This is shown in the 2014 case of Riley vs. California, in which the court unanimously held that the unwarrantless search and seizure of any digital content of a person's cell phone during an arrest is unconstitutional. 
If the cops do not have a warrant to search your phone, you do not and should not give up anything to the police. I believe in my opinion that Diaz was only trying to intimidate this person and trick them into giving up their information. I am recording in public. Right. But when you're recording and it's part of my investigation, it's a traffic accident. It is more than a traffic accident. Well, right now. Were you over there speaking to the gentleman that calls that? No. Exactly. So I'm the one doing the investigation. Right. So it is more than a traffic accident. All right. So I have no personal information of what's going on over there. Recording my my investigation. From. So when you're recording my investigation, this is also evidence. So I can take that. I can ask for the search warrant for the phone so I can record. You cannot have my phone without a search warrant. You'll have to get a search warrant. That's why I'm asking you for your name. So now you're asking and you're not providing me with. No, because I haven't committed a crime. But you have evidence to this. No, because it occurred afterwards. I know, but it's after the you're fact. You're recording me investigating him. Okay. So yeah, you're, that's. You recorded my test. When it comes down to my test, I need any video that proves my exam, and you are recording that. Right. So get a search warrant. Exactly. In order but, for me to get a search warrant, I need your name. But and you've got a bad body camera. My phone will do nothing for I you. Need your, I need your name and date of no, birth. I'm not giving you my name and birth. You're only giving your name and date of birth, then you can also be placed under arrest or RDO. Are you gonna arrest me I'm for? I'm advising you what can happen. Are you saying that I'm under arrest for not committing a crime? No. For filming in public, actually, I will be arrested? Actually, ma'am, when I'm asking you for your name and date of birth because you are recording a crime scene right now, which it is a crime scene that's right. a traffic accident, you're recording, so I'm asking you as evidence. Okay, so I'm going to try to enter the video that you record as evidence. You but this occurred, I didn't record anything okay. other than... You're so you got here after I the have fact, right? right, and I have okay, no okay. evidence. Listen, listen. When you got here after the fact, okay, you got here after the fact. When I got him out of my vehicle, and I was doing my the my fire vehicle, truck was in the way. The fire truck was in the way. way. I this way and right, you had already getting ready to cuff him. You were recording this whole time my investigation. This is part of the evidence. Okay. You have your body cam is better than my what I got on here. Anybody recording that pertains to this incident can be entered as evidence. Okay, so that is why. I'm, am I saying I'm going to go out of my way to get your, your phone video? No, but if the circumstances shows up that I have to have that video in order to prove my case, then I will contact you about your video. That is why I need your name and date of birth. So I, I can contact you for the video if I need the video. No. I, there's no reason to. Hey guys, it looks like I'm going to be arrested because I won't give up my uh, camera footage. I'm just waiting on Officer Diaz. Um, he did said that, say that he was going to get a search warrant for my phone, for my video. Um, he said if I didn't give him my name and address, he was going to place me under arrest for obstruction. Yeah, Teresa, I'm okay. So... Um, he said he was good, but it looks like, uh, his supervisor told him, guys, you're going to have to go, uh, earlier back in the stream. So, but yeah, it was that officer right there. Officer Diaz. There he goes. Officer Diaz right there. All right. So as you just seen in the video, Officer Diaz was forced to do the walk of shame back to his car. After talking to his supervisor, he realized that there was nothing that he could do, so he drove off. This is why it's always important to know your rights and always important to film the police during any type of traffic stop, any type of accident, anything. With that being said, this has been San Joaquin Audits. Remember to always record the police, understand your rights, and flex those rights as often as you can.